Information is power. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Information Man Show. Welcome, 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 welcome. I hope everybody out there is doing fine. This is a very important video because, as you know, um, if you are a parent, a father, a mother, you're married, you have kids, and you have filed your taxes properly, uh, you're due for a child tax credit. Now, some of you have already received the child tax credit if you are eligible and if you have filed those taxes. But what I want to do with this video is pretty much uh, look at who's not eligible at the same time, letting people know who are eligible based on if you either fit these criterias or you do not fit these criterias to receive any money. And if you haven't received any money and you're wondering you know, what's going on? I filed my taxes. This is no laughing matter because you have family, you have kids, and it's, <laughs> it's not a laughing matter. You want to get paid like everyone else uh, because we know that uh, money can be seen as power, as you see right there, and I'm coming back here. So let me get into this, and before I get started, I want to say to those who watch this video right now, I want to say thank you. Thank you for watching the video. Make a comment. If you can in the comment section, like this video so you can push it through the algorithms of YouTube. And I would definitely certainly love you to subscribe to the channel. Watch a video on my channel that you haven't seen yet. Also share this video on your social media. And if you're a content creator as well, and you're coming over to check old info out again, go ahead and put this video in your community tab. I would appreciate that. Tell the truth. That's telling the truth just like that. So, I really appreciate everybody who's coming over and doing the things that you, that you do. Uh, and I'm going to say it again, one more time, definitely like the video, bam. And I definitely need you to, um, share the video most importantly, as that helps the channel again, as I've said before, and I really appreciate, uh, again, I just can't tell you how much I appreciate the support that I'm getting on the channel. So with that said, Let's get into it right now because this is a very important matter. Uh, I'm going to take my time with this. Uh, as, a, as I said before, um, several people have now already received their, their child tax credit um, now, but some of you are still either waiting or you have not received and you're wondering, hey, what's really going on? Uh, am I eligible? Am I not eligible? And I want to say right now, you definitely, you need to consult the IRS. You need to call them, find out what's going on. But most importantly, you should be aware of whether you actually did file your 2019 tax, your 2020 tax, and what have you. Now, most households with kids will qualify for at least some of the credit, ladies and gentlemen, some of the credit, okay? But the rules and the requirements these are the rules and requirements, and it's a bit tricky this year what these rules and requirements are. Very tricky. Now, I'm looking at an article just to let you know that I'm giving you information that's based on uh, financial information. Um, you've got personal finances. This is a personal finances out of CNET. So I'm giving you information that isn't something that I'm making up, but is factual, and you can check the IRS. You can always do your own research. But let me say this. Um, if you are a family, if you are a father or mother, as I said before, qualifying families will get the entire amount of credit if their income are below the set thresholds. Now, what are those, those thresholds? Once the income goes above the thresholds, and I'll let you know what those thresholds are, ladies and gentlemen, the amount of the tax credit will begin to phase 
out until you reach your cap. So whatever you make, uh, whatever, how many, however many children you have, that's really what it is. Uh, will be the number amount that you're going to get for the rest of this year. And you're going to cap out once you hit that threshold. Now, let me go into it now. The important thing, as I said before, did you uh, get the benefit for a 2021 tax year, depending on having, having to be 17 or younger by the end of December, you should be getting a payment. Uh, Did you adopt children or babies born in 2021? May may qualify too. So if you adopted children and you have kids or you have a newborn uh, born just this year, um, you be, you would be eligible, right? You have a dependent that's 17 years old this year. Uh, you still would be uh, eligible for the child tax credit. Those who are eligible will automatically, ladies and gentlemen, get about 50% off their 2021 child tax credit, which amounts, that amount is through six advanced monthly installments. Okay. So six advanced monthly installments and can, you can claim the other 50% on your taxes, ladies and gentlemen, later down the line, if you choose. So now this is what happened. You get an option to claim a hundred percent of your credit in 2022. Now, if you are unenrolled from the monthly payment program, if you are as a family, families that are out there are unenrolled from the monthly payment program, will I'm going to break it down right now. Um, This is the information I'm telling you from the, uh, the IRS. Okay. The IRS and how to manage your checks and how the child tax credit could affect your taxes next year, which would be 2022. Here are the breakdowns right here. What are the income age caps for the 2021 child tax credit? The IRS looks at family adjustment growth of income or what we call the AGI, the age of your dependent and a hand full of other things such as to determine if you meet all the requirements, ladies and gentlemen, for child tax credit payments. Here's a quick breakdown and summary that I'm going to go over right now. Now, when it comes to income and age cap for child tax credit, families in the upper income level qualify limits. Here they are. Single, if you're a single person filing a tax, uh, you filed your taxes this year and within the 2019, 2020, um, your cap level of how much money you're going to get until you cap out is around $240,000. If you are head of household within the AGI, you're going to get around that cap out is going to be $240,000 for you. If you are a couple filing together as a couple, such as a married couple, your AGI will rank around 440,000. Okay. Dependent age qualifications are as this. If you have a child that's five years old and younger up, you'll get to get up to about 3,000, 3,600. If you have a child that's age six through 17, you're going to get up to about 3,000. These are the raw checks that will come into your mailbox or your direct deposit, right? If you have a child that's 18 years old, you're looking at $500 possibly receiving. Uh, And these are payments that are going to be consistently dropping in your direct deposit or in your mailbox for the rest of this year. Now at age 19 or 24. So if you have a kid that's 19, 24 years old, uh, and they are also a full-time college student, you can expect to see about once again, as it was with the age 18, you can expect to see $500 for that child when you um, file the taxes. So that's the breakdown. Now, same thing for 2022, $500 one-time check payment in 2022 for ages 18, ages 19 to 24, $500 one-time payment in 2022. So we're in 2021 now, but these are the payments that you can also expect in 2022. Same thing at age five and younger, 
you're going to get up to three thousand six hundred for each child with half of the credit as of three hundred dollars, meaning you're going to get three hundred dollars monthly payments. OK, and the same thing, if you have kids that are six through 17 years old, it's going to be up to three thousand each child with half credits, which means you're going to get two hundred and fifty dollars per month. And of course, you got to round that off to how many kids you have and what have you. Versus if you got one one child, two kids, three kids, just depends on your uh, personal situation. Um, let me see here. Oh, this is very important here. 2021 child tax credit income limits. As I said before, a single filer, you're looking at someone who files their, their uh, taxes as a single person. That's 75,000 or less to qualify for the full amount. Okay. Head of household is 112,500 to qualify for the full amount as well. Couples, Two couples, married couples filing together, that's about 150000 or less to qualify for the full amount. And, um, and that's what it is right there. Now, let me go into another area. The, now, the IRS letter and families who qualify, and I talked about that as well. The IRS started sending out letters to about 36 uh, million families. I received a letter notifying whether you would be eligible for that. So you should expect, if you have not, you need to call the IRS because you should have received a letter uh, stating to you your eligibility, the possibility of you getting a check or not getting a check in the mail. A check that should a uh, mail a letter. I'm sorry, excuse me, a letter that should have notified you uh, whether you're eligible to receive monthly child tax credits payments based on the federal income tax returns from either your 2019, your 2020, and the IRS should also have detailed for you as an individual, the eligibility of families that use an older IRS um, non-filer tool to claim a stimulus check. So check that out. The IRS will soon send eligible families a second letter with a personalized estimate of their monthly payments. And I received such a letter. So those of you out there that are wondering, well, wait a minute, I didn't receive this letter. And there's a chance that you may not be eligible. It's a chance that if you didn't file taxes, uh, you may want to check this out, call the IRS and double check because, you know, mistakes can be made. But this is some of the things you need to definitely look at. Can families who don't file taxes still get the payment? Now, let me break it down here. Child tax credit payments will be automatically for those who filed for the 2020 tax return or claimed all dependents on their 2019 tax return. This is more detailed here. If you don't normally file taxes, ladies and gentlemen, because your income is, you know, your income is too low or you don't have a bank account or a permanent address. The IRS won't know to send you a payment. So you got to have your, your life in order here. You got to have a bank account uh, they need to at least know where the hell you live. And if you've changed your address where you've moved somewhere else, it's on you to definitely notify them of your new address. Because if you don't, and you may have a check floating out there and you ain't getting that money. I would not uh, let any money just go by the wayside. Now, this is another thing I want to say. You're considered a None filer. If you're considered a none filer of taxes, you need to act now. So if you have, if you're considered a none filer of your taxes, meaning maybe you're retired and you don't really have any income coming in, uh, for the, then you need to, you know, there's some people that are, that are in retirement, right? You, you're, you're considered what they call a none filer. If you don't have, uh, you know, assets and what have you that the IRS would be concerned about, the bottom line is if you're a non filer, you need to act right now, not yesterday, but right now. And uh, that's the truth. Tell the truth. And get right on down to contacting the IRS because um, you need to know if you're eligible to receive the first round of payments. If you have not received that, this might be a reason why you haven't received your first round of payments because you didn't contact them. And also, maybe you have moved recently. And that's why you haven't received anything in the mail. Maybe you don't have your direct deposit set up uh, correctly. You want to double check all of that 
to rule out all uh, mistakes and possibilities. The IRS opens new online port. They have a new online point port for households that don't traditionally file income taxes so they can register their information with the IRS. It's also available in Spanish. If you are Spanish speaking, you need a number of things on hand before starting this process though, ladies and gentlemen, including a mailing address, which I said before, it's very important an email address, tax information on your dependents, bank account information. And, um, if you were planning on filing your 2019 and 20 taxes return, tax return, ladies and gentlemen, but just have not had, uh, you haven't gotten around to doing it. I don't know why you would have not get around to doing something like that. That's pretty crazy. That's funny and crazy to me. Uh, but if you haven't gotten around to doing that, the IRS said, this is the issue. As soon as possible, you need to do this for the most recent information on your file for determining your payment. So there's people out there, I bet you, who have been very derelict or slow in filing uh, the 2019. Maybe they're behind even their 2020. And you're thinking that, oh, I'm not going to get anything. Well, you're not getting anything because you haven't filed anything. That's the most important thing is that you have to file. Uh, and I'm telling you right now, I don't know why anybody would leave money on the table like that. That's just hilarious to me. Okay, tell the truth. Tell the truth. Don't leave money on the table. Get out there and get that money. And uh, make it all work for you. Now, this is a summary that I'm going to break down to all of you as I end and get ready to end this particular uh, video, this program. And I, once again, I want to tell you to share the video on your social media, uh, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the program, check out a video on my channel if you have not. And I want to thank you all out there by giving you a clap for watching the program. I really appreciate that. Now, this is important. This is about more child tax credit eligibility requirements you need to know. And I mean, you need to know right now. Tell the truth. This is a summary. The child, the child you're claiming must live with you for at least six months out of the year. You and your child or children must be United States citizens. That's right. If you're not United States citizens, you're not getting any moochla. You're not getting anything. You're not going to get uh, the money if you're not a U.S. citizen. So you got to make sure that you are a citizen because without that, you're not getting any mooch, no Tell money, the no dinero, no nothing. Um, this is important. Now for married couples, if you are a married couple filing jointly, at least one spouse needs to have a social security number or a, what they call an I T I N. Okay. Now, a child must also have a social security number. So your kids have to have a social security number, which is why if you're not a citizen, I would imagine you can't file for this possibility of getting this, getting these payments coming to your doorstep near you. So the child needs to have a social security number, a child with only a A T I N will not qualify. So if your child doesn't have a social security number, um, what can I say? Um, I got to say, I'm sorry, you just won't be eligible. I got to hit it again. You won't be eligible. And I'm sorry about that, but that's, those are the rules. I didn't make them up, um, but it is the IRS that made these rules up. Um, now check this out. Very important. This includes children that have been adopted recently. So if you have children that have been recently adopted or have been adopted, if they don't have a social security number, they're not going to accept uh, an ATIN. They won't qualify as, as well. Now, another important highlight to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen, and I really appreciate you listening is that parents who share custody of their child cannot both receive the tax credit, which I think is kind of crazy. I think that's really crazy because Tell I think that if you have joint custody of your child, which means you're spending money on your child, you're investing in your child's life. You're there for your child. Uh, hopefully you should be. Then I think that if you can prove it through your receipts, through your checkbook, I think both parents should be able to claim taxes on their kid, not jointly. It shouldn't be this whole thing where uh, you have to rotate one year after another between each other. I think if you have a child you have joint custody. That's something that I really wish they would change. But according to the IRS, 
if you have um, if you're if, if parents who share custody of a child cannot both receive the tax credit. Here's what else to know about 2021 child credit. OK, now. Let me put something right here. So that's about that's pretty much it. That's what to know about it. I'm going to end right there. I thank you for listening to the uh, program and I hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world right now. Uh, this is very important, uh, especially because we know that money is important and we don't want to lose out on opportunities when the government is giving us money. And let's just be honest. They're really giving you money that already belongs to you. So it's not like they're really throwing you a bone, the Joe Biden administration or any administration, because they're basically just giving you the money, just like the stimulus checks. They're giving you money that was already yours that comes out of your checks year in and year out. And that's the truth. Tell the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, take care. I hope this information that I laid out um, is, is uh, something that can help you. And I tell you right now, everything I said was factual. You can back this up with reading other articles about this issue called the IRS. Everything that I said was reputable and was facts. And um, that's what's really going on. But, but you need to still do your research as well and get in contact with the IRS if you are a person that has concerns. Everybody take care. This is the Information Man show, and thank you very much. Take care, everybody. Peace. Take care, everybody. You are listening to Information Man. Please make sure to subscribe to his channel.